In this video lesson, we will demonstrate how to build a hierarchy within PME. You can see we are already logged into the web applications with supervisor level credentials and are currently under the settings tab, system folder and viewing of the hierarchies tool. Although these sites, buildings, areas, meters, template is defined, there are no nodes created in the system by default. We will start by creating the most broad site node, which encompasses all devices within the hierarchy by clicking the Add button. You can see from the Properties window that we must give the site node a name and associate it with any building nodes in the system. We'll label our site name Umbrella Corporation and click the Add button for building nodes. Notice that there are no entries available in the new Add Building References window. This is expected as there are no building nodes which have been created in the system yet. So we will click Cancel back in the Site Properties window. Click OK. This will return us back to the Hierarchies tool and we can now see a new row entry for our site node. Next, click on the Buildings tab and then Add. Just like before, we must define a name for this building node. But we now have three properties which define its site areas and main meter. We'll name this building node Building A. Clicking the Add button under the Site section produces the Add Site References window where we can see our previously created Umbrella Corporation site node. Check the box to associate it and then click OK. If we click Add under the Areas, notice how the Add Areas Reference window contains no entries. Again, this is expected because there are currently no area nodes to find in the hierarchy. So we will click Cancel to close this window. The area nodes associations will be created in a later step. The last property, Main Meter, is optional. If no device is specified for a main meter, building node measurements will be summed or averaged from the area nodes beneath it. If one or more devices are assigned to the main meter property, building node measurement data will be pulled from these instead. When we click Add under Main Meter, we're presented with the Add Main Meter References window. The entries in this list are exactly the same as the devices section of the Management Console. Note the percentage from and tow fields at the bottom of the window. Percentage will multiply measurement values by this when calculating the building node values. This can be useful if apportionment is needed. The percentage field is available in multiple levels of the hierarchy as well. The from and tow fields define the dynamic time interval when measurement values are used. For example, if nodes or physical devices will be replaced or temporarily shut down for routine maintenance. We would set specific dates, leaving them at the default system start and end of time. We'll pull measurement data for all available date ranges and after we click OK, we can now see the new row entry for the building A node and we will repeat this process one more time to create a second building B node. Next, we will click on the Areas tab just as before, click Add, and we will label this area building A Floor 1.
Under the building property, click Add and check the box for Building A and then OK. We are going to skip the meter property because just like in previous nodes, the menu selection is blank as there are currently no meter nodes present in the hierarchy. Click OK on the properties window and you will now see the row entry for our first area node. We are going to repeat this process to create building A floor 2, building B floor 1 and building B floor 2 and associate them with their respective buildings. Now we will click on the meters tab. Similar to previous sections, we are going to click add and must define the label area and meter properties. Our first meter will be labeled as bottling meter one and we will click add and associate this with building a floor one as area node and then click okay. Under the device property, we will click add and link this to our bottling boiler meter. When we click OK, we can see our first meter note entry. We will repeat this process creating three additional bottling meters, which will be associated with our remaining area nodes. The two remaining tabs for load type and virtual meter are optional additional categories for the hierarchy. Load type can group devices by the equipment they monitor, for example, heating, air conditioning, lighting, or manufacturing. For this demonstration, we will create a manufacturing load type which contains bottling meters 1 and 2, and a processing load type which contains bottling meters 3 and 4, The virtual meter category can combine measurements from multiple physical devices. For example, 
We can create a bottling meter energy total by including all meters belonging to this group. We will name our label as bottling meter energy total and click add to view individual devices. We will filter our group by entering bottling and hitting enter. This will show us only devices belonging to this bottling group. So we will check all devices and click OK. We'll then click OK again to create our virtual meter. To view the result of the finished hierarchy, click on Show Views. In the top right of the screen, you can see the three available categories, physical layout, load type, and virtual meter. The physical layout radio button is selected by default and below you can see our site node umbrella corporation. If we click the plus button, this will expand into our building nodes building A and B. And clicking each building node will expand into the individual area nodes as well. Likewise expanding the area nodes will show the meters underneath. If we select load type and update, we can see our two manufacturing and processing load types created. But likewise, if we repeat this process for virtual meter and hit update, we can see our bottling meter energy total created previously. Now that we have built out a hierarchy, we are ready to begin using these sources and dashboards, trends, and reports to more quickly and easily analyze our system data. That concludes this lesson on building hierarchies. Thanks for watching.